thank you very much. Um, I don't think we are doing differently. I think we are doing normally. The rest is different. So uh, we, we, are, we are normal, or maybe we are the new normal. Uh, I have a disclaimer first. Um, I think about I'm mad, and ma mad is making a difference, which is good, so you, you can accept everything without biases. And uh, I, I'm, I, so I'm, I'm, I apologize also because I don't have slides. I don't like slides. I, I dropped slides 20 years ago, and uh, I draw in by hand everything. So I spent a day draw, uh, drawing uh, this session for, for, for all of us. And uh, today, uh, uh, it's the first time in Five years, I'm speaking in a, in a developer uh, conference. I also sp I'm going to speak in uh, uh, conferences like uh, positive change, how we rule the world with a positive impact and whatever. But really, it's, uh, it's uh, imp uh, nice to me to be here and to uh, give you our experience on how we, we build software and uh, present uh, the way we do. So. Uh, I, I really love that I've, I've met Conway, Conway today, and uh, because I think Conway law is uh, is really uh, applicable to every uh, software architecture I, I have found. And uh, well, I was a developer. I, I, I'm writing few Linux code every week, three or four. That's the average. Uh, but <laughs> the, the the things I, I'm 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 watching every time is. The structure of the organization reflect really to the architecture, but to us as an software engineer, the, the requirement is a resilient architecture. I want a distributed architecture, but the organization is client server, right? They are client server. So there are some in a server that is talking to a client, a client that is talking to a server. So, we started our journey, and, and, and I'm going to describe how we work in order to explain why and the way we do, we, do, we create benefit with the, with, the, with the software we try to, to make, with the best technology, whatever. The, and, and I'm going to present this as a journey. We are in a journey, we are, we are in the middle of the journey, so don't take it as a lesson, don't take it as a, a rule to follow, just uh, uh, like uh, as a witness to uh, what is happening in, in, uh, to me in my com in the company I'm, I'm managing, I, write, I like to define me as an unconventional CEO or unmanager. That's my wedding suits. Okay, so we started our journey uh, thinking about why we founded the c company. Why why does the company exist? Which is the main purpose of the company? Making money? No. That there are cocaine or other things to do that is get, getting you much more money in really few, few time. Quite risky, maybe, but, but not so risky like running a company. So we started understanding why, and uh, we realized that the company is a tool. The company is a way where we can really uh, use our business to change things. And, and, and we recognize that every step we put in this world, in this planet, as like I, I want to, 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 to define this world, every, every, every step we are making is creating impact, positive, neutral, or negative impact. So it's important to be conscious that everything we do is really creating impact. Every line of code we, 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 we do is creating impact, really. So we started asking ourselves the why the company exists. I, I suggest you to read the book of Simon Sinek, Starts With Why, uh, because I found it quite interesting. It's not, to me, inspirational. We were in the process before the book, but it's OK. But having the, the why define it, having the, why def the, the, the idea of why the company exists, and w we also put this idea inside the Article 2 of the company incorporation statement, where we say the company is existing because we want to create a relationship of, if I, if I tell liberté, fraternité, égalité, which is three French, there are people that lose their head for that. If we want to create these trees, the three elements with all the stakeholders, and the stakeholders are not normal. Stakeholders, as business school is teaching, stakeholders is also the planet, stakeholders is a society, and to me, stakeholders is also happiness. 
happy. I want to create a company where people are happy. Wow. I want to create a relationship of uh, legality, of fraternity, brotherhood. Between, between brotherhood, you know, Cain and Abel, brothers. Okay, so it's, it's really inter interesting to start thinking why you exist, why you're doing that. And the second thing we realize when working with this uh, uh, design thinking approach, where the, we have to sustain also agriculture. Oh, wow, you're a software developer, yes. We are software developers, but we, under, uh, we, we live in the, in the north of, of uh, Italy, on the Alps, uh, in a really beautiful place. I, I always say that we uh, work in a postcard. And uh, why cannot we support doing something good with agriculture in mind? So, and to us, for all the people that are working in a company, which are 60 people, plus 50 people, I tell you the story, why there are plus 50 people. Uh, we are work, uh, uh, working with this why, with this purpose in mind. We are thinking to really use technology, use software, use everything to create positive impact or to matter the impact we are going to create in order to really uh, be, be good for the society. But, you know, it's, uh, here it's like an NGO, where you, you have ideals, you have a big idea, you want to you change the world, but you need money. And we are a profit company. So we need to make money, and we, we need not to support benefit, we, we need to make benefit, which is a really different, uh, two different words, support and making. Support is like a, being a cash dispenser of giving money, I support you, the Red Cross, I support you. Making money is where I'm uh, hiring a, a nurse and then giving the nurse to the Red Cross. It's different. It's a completely different approach. Well, what has happened? It has happened then moving on from the how or why, we then uh, work it with, uh, with our customers in order to find a reasonable approach in uh, following our why with their objective. Our customers are banks, our customers are insurance, our big customers, normal customers. Um, they, they fight the market. We want to use our agreement, and I'll talk to you, to you later how, to really uh, try to follow our principle, follow our guides, and try to that specific point that is our why, which is the tipping of this mountain, the, the tip of the mountain. So, uh, but how, do, how, how can you work with having, having a, a, a why in mind, having customer engaged or having customer knowing that you are mad, making a difference? How can you work in this way? How really, we can work, yes, with the company. Uh, and uh, we can really, I call this Slayer as operation, where we have together an idea of what is going to be built on, on what the, the purpose we are serving. I use this term, serving, I, I want to serve. And uh, of course, we need to work in a, in, a, in, a, in a way that we are serving our purpose through customers. It's really interesting. It's a, 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 a different approach on building software, because we build software. And uh, I, I, I use Scrum since 2002, so I know very well what is a, a Scrum, Agile methodology, and I try to bring Agile to the next level, in my opinion. So, having a purpose, having a, an idea, a, the why, having the, your product roadmap, the, the, the product now is a company. How can the people, the people inside the company, which here is the company, manage? Do we need an hierarchy? Do we need an organization? Do we need leaders? Do we need uh, things? Absolutely no. We don't need anything that is going to hinder us to follow our purpose. We need only people that believe that we are doing the right things and we are in the right moment.
This is why we decided to keep the company flat, to, keep, to, to, to share all the knowledge inside uh, of everything. I, I, it, my colleagues uh, wear a t-shirt with a, a slogan, a little bit of CEO. They are also a little bit of HRs. They are all, all, also a little bit CFO. They are all a little bit sustainable manager or whatever, accessibility managers and whatever. And the, 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 the right thing is that we continue working with the Agile principle, with Scrum, with Kanban in some, some side, uh, with Scrumban, or with whatever we want to be Agile and deliver something valuable. But what we do is to work together in order to satisfy our why. We know what, how we work. And of course, it is changing. Who is the chief of the company giving this picture? Is the CEO of the company the chief of the company? No, it's the purpose. The purpose is driving. Of course, we have a, a, a mechanism also to change the purpose, a voting mechanism. It's a de decentralized company, a distributed company. It's a resilient company at the end, where people do things together in order to go and follow the purpose. Of course, there's a formal structure, which, uh, which is, uh, there are the board of directors, legal things, I am the co-CEO of the company. We decided not to have one CEO, but two, because for the resiliency, you know, fail over. Okay? And we have also a disaster recovery plan. And, uh, but the good thing is, uh, um, well, there, there are lines here, but really it's a fading, it's not lines. The good thing here that all the board of directors, which is the role of, of an executive, which is my role in the company, Command and control now, because what we are doing is following our purpose, starting with the why. The, what, what I do, I'm supporting the organization. Sometimes I go, I go in office, I don't have anything to do. It's interesting, and I say, "Oh, guys, I'm here for you." And if you want, you can book me. I use a service on on the internet called You Can Book Me. You can book me, and they book me because they want suggestion. Uh, they, can, they, they are book me, booking me for several reasons, talking, discussing, doing empathy work. Have you ever done an empathy work with uh, one of your boss? Ah, oh, good. Do you know what is an empathy work? An empathy work is a, is a work, we do an empathy work of an hour, of an hour, where we go in some place in that beautiful valley where we live, and then walk together with this idea. I speak, you, you listen, you speak, I'm listening. Done. <laughs> interesting. It's interesting. Okay, and we are supporting all these kind of things. But again, the, if you, if you uh, see the pyramid is flipped down completely. The CEO is on the bottom, supporting, which is called servant leadership. We are servant of the company, and all my colleagues are servant for the customers, and through the customer we are servant to the benefit we are creating. Uh, it's a different, totally different approach on developing software. And we are using Scrum, we are using Agile, we are running retrospective, and blah, 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 all the things we can do with, with Agile software development and with Agile company. But, and the, the last thing is, well, well uh, and the shareholders, the shareholders, of course, I'm putting money inside the company, and we have also a nice story because I sold the company two years ago, and uh, they, they, they buy us because we were like that. Interesting. It's like uh, crafting a product, which is the company, which, has a, which is serving a purpose, and we are, we, we, we are going in, in, in a specific director, direction. And uh, what are we doing with the shareholders? We are focusing, yes, on the revenues, as normally you do with shareholders. Revenues, you know, EBITDA. What is EBITDA? You know what is EBITDA? It's important, the gross margin. But we are also focusing on sustainable, sustain, SDG, Sustainable Development Goals. Do you know what are Sustainable Development Goals from the United Nations? Where we say, okay, we want to address with the company all these things. And to be certified, you know, 
we want to be certified. Okay? We went to the B Lab. B Lab is the benefit. Uh, B Lab is a, the entity that is certifying benefit corporation in the US. We went to the B Lab in Amsterdam and said, okay, we want to certify our company as a benefit corporation. And they say, okay, this is the uh, feedback questions and complete them. It's quite hard to be a benefit corporation because uh, uh, you, you, you have to know that, the, that there is a score, and the average score in Europe is about 40, po 40 points. That, but the, the good thing is, the first time we applied, we were 90. 90. And we said, OK, sign, you know, uh, when, uh, when we was an, at the university. Uh, and uh, sign, please. Uh, it's 20, sign, please. I go home. We, we, do, we did the same thing. And now we are focusing with our shareholder on uh, really supporting, mattering, not only the money we do, but also with the positive impact we do by the score of the B Lab. And now we are 122.8, which is a, a high rank score. The average inside B Corp is 100. And to me, I'm very proud about this, and I'm very proud I, I can discuss with my shareholders to put the goals inside the company also on the sustainability development goals. Okay, just, this is just a theory to show you uh, where we are and uh, how we are doing. So it's, uh, it's like having a pyramid inverted where the chief of the company is the benefit we are creating, and there, there are the customer because we need money, and then there's a company which is self-managed, and then uh, uh, there are the servant leaders. Well, every, everybody inside the company is a servant leader, so everybody is in, ser in service of the company. So if you think about uh, opening the landscape, of the company, and I, I, then I, I, I want to move on uh, giving you some practices with you because it's, it sounds like naive, right? It's quite naive what I'm telling. The, um, the things we are doing is we have a fixed and evolutionary purpose of the company. It's, a, it's like having two mountains here, you know. Uh, we, we have fixed the evolutionary purpose on the, on, on the company. Have you read the book of, uh, from uh, Fred Laloux, Reinventing Organization? Who, who, one? Wow. Well, so so it's, it's normal for you. So we have found an evolutionary purpose, we see with, with, which is our why, the why we work. Then, with all the level of the company, we try to work on the, on the sun, trying to... Uh, uh, craft something new to build uh, and to consider people inside the company, which are one of, of the most important stakeholders of the company, as a whole, as a wholeness. It's, and the good thing is, uh, every, every, every uh, word with an ash is a Slack channel. <laughs> okay. So uh, on, on, every, on every side we have, uh, for example, on, on, in terms of uh, people, we have mutualism. I tell you the story after that, and uh, talking about how we, what we understood from lesson learned from Scrum during retrospective, which is an, an advanced version. Mutualism is, is an adva advanced version of lesson learned. Then we have a big, big level of, uh, high level of transparency. For example, uh, my, colleague, my colleague decided to open their salaries. And we collectively open our salaries. So and it, was, it was really easy. We, one of my colleagues opened a Google spreadsheet and start typing Amedeo, the number. Wow, <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> wow, what is happening? And uh, at the seven, I, I wrote Francesco. And my colleagues learned that I was, the, I, I was not the one with a higher salary. Wow, interesting. Interesting. And uh, with this level of uh, transparency, we have created lots of things. For example, uh, you know, if, if you have teams that are running scrums, so if you have team scrums, scrum teams, um, if you have the salary transparent for the team, 
they can decide the salary, yes, but you can start working with the profit and loss mechanism for the team. So if they know the revenue they are creating, they know the gross margin they are creating, so they can think about the, 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 the money they are creating, which is the EBITDA for the, the small team, and they can start uh, working in a, in a different approach. For example, hiring, hiring a person. Who is hiring a person in a, in a company like others? There's no HR. You are hiding, are, 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 are hiding the person who is going to work with you. Okay, of course, you, as you do pair programming, you, you, have you ever heard about pair programming? Yes, if, you do pair programming, you do pair hiring. So if you need, you need to ask to a colleague to, to, a colleague to come and help you in hiring and start the hiring process. If, the, if there are something hard to decide in, in two, you have to work and uh, start an advice process with the, all, the, the whole company. We use a, use a platform called Lumia. Lumia is for voting. We use, and we open on Lumia the discussion about, for example, the salary, which is to hire or whatever, and then start the advice process. Advice process is not a vote yes or no. Advice process is I suggest you how to do to get my yes. Interesting, because you are helping people in uh, growing, in uh, uh, developing their talents or whatever. So transparency, uh, uh, open the salary to us. D don't take it as, a, as a, an ingredient. <laughs> but opening it, because if you, if you, talk, if you go around and, and ask if it's good or not to open salaries, the consultants say no. But there's no, no, no negative story. Okay, but I don't know if, if it, it is just only the positive one, but really, it's my experience. But if you th th think in, in this way, really a lot of things or new things are coming, and you are continuously discovering things about the salaries. We discover that women on the same position were getting lower, 10% lower than men. And it's not a problem, it's a problem of culture, the Italian culture, the European culture. You know, when you, when you get hired by a company, you, you say, okay, how much money do you want? X, done. And you're not going to think about comparing this with others. You're hiring, right? And, uh, and to me, the, the, the much I'm saving, the, 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 the better it is. So, while open the salary, having all the snapshot on a Google spreadsheet, well, yeah, Google spreadsheet, okay. <laughs> uh, this difference has come and we fixed. Interesting, it's interesting, really. It is going to open, to open a new culture inside the company, to, to really open the company, and to think about the person you hire. I, I, I love to see this picture um, and consider, you, you know, when you, when you work in a, in a company, and this is w the way we consider people in their wholeness, it, when, you work, when, when you are talking about a person, and you, you're th talking about to, to thinking about the brain or how the person is going to work with you, is going to talk about the deep side of the person and the ego side of the person. If you go inside a, if you go in a company, you must be egocentric. You cannot talk about your deep things, deep thoughts. And in the ego, this, this is good for men and women. On the ego side, you must be male. It doesn't matter if you are a woman, you must be male. And being male, so we are splitting the the, the, the person by two and by two they, again. And when you are male, egocentric, <laughs> because you have to fight, you have to survive the company, okay? I'm quite a bit exaggerating, but not too much. Uh, can you take decision uh, with the guts? I say, no, 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 my intuition says we, we don't have to go there. No. Uh, there, there is a, a movement that says that we have to take decision only with, uh, um, with analytics. So, <laughs> no way to be intuitive. Second, 
uh, suppose I'm discussing a user story and say, no, 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 from my religion is avoid, is forbidden. No way to talk about religion, right? Political and religion are forbidden inside the company, in our culture. Second, emotionally. If I'm, I'm telling to you, this, this feature is making me cry. Are you mad? Really mad? No. The only thing I, I can work is being rational, which is really a tiny part of me. And which is rational? One on four, on two, on two. Okay, so when thinking about a company, we need, and when we're thinking about people, we need to understand how to consider all the person, all, all the people inside the company, um, and include the differences with this kind of approach for in, in, their, in their wholeness. So start practicing things, doing things in a different way, be inclusive. For example, we, we, uh, we have a group of people that were doing design, thing, uh, design thinking. You know, what is design thinking? Now we replace the term design and we move to inclusive thinking. We want to work on inclusiveness. We want to go work on not only on uh, permanent, permanent disabilities, but also to temporary disability. Because we want to consider people in the way we are um, showing on, on, in the second mountain. Okay, Mo moving fast forward, I, I can, I can uh, speak about this for days. I give you some practices uh, on how we are working, uh, being a company with an oldness, with an evolution, evolutionary principle in mind. I give, uh, for example, we work with a, with a, you know what is this? This is Scrum, right? Uh, when uh, creating a priority, oh, there, there, is, there is a lot of, of, idea, of idea on how to prioritize a backlog, you know? When working with priority, the things that we, 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 we think is we have to work on the, also on the impact we are creating. So the rule for creating the priority, following the Pareto rule, the 2080 or the 8020, is benefit plus ben penalty plus impact on cost plus risk. And uh, we have a, a colleague, two colleagues, Kirsten, which are and, and Alicia, which are. Uh, working with the customer with, with this, this idea of inclusiveness on uh, metering, uh, scoring with a, a mechanism like the t-shirt the t -shirt size, which is the positive impact we are creating with this requirement. This is how we use software for creating business, for, 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 for being uh, as a positive uh, for the world. And then we go, we move, you know very well what is happening, and, uh, of course, during our life, we want to enable discovery. And there is a, one big mistake I'd, I've done in my life, is to re name the company with my surname, Mondora, which is a very big mess. The things, uh, because everything I, I was saying was, yes, yes, you're true, yes, yes, you're, you, you know, it's me. It's, I, I was the found, I'm the founder. I, I, I was the owner of the company. And so I, I, we discussed and we said, okay, how do we enable mistakes? Because, you know, there, there's a theory, the evolution theory is a theory that is, says that with mistakes we grow. Okay? So how do we do mistakes? Usually in normal company, a like normal company celebrates success. You see Don Perignon, Coming now, where you're winning a big bid, for example, you see in, on, on our, our side, Don Perignon coming where we fail. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it, it, we started with the failure pizza, where we were there. And alcohol is important; it's, it's important to drink while talking about fail, while talking about the lesson we are learning. It's important to drink. Okay, you know, talking. Drinking, okay? I, I'm, I'm, I'm joking, of course, but it was too frequent, frequent to go and, and eat the pizza twice or third, three times a week. So we decided to do small groups of uh, failure parties 
there are tables in the, in the company uh, where you can come and, and do the, uh, run your failure party. You bring the bottle and you drink. And so you're going to talk about your failure. You're sharing with the colleagues. The colleagues are, giving, they are mirroring to you and giving you what is happening and, and, uh, and how you can improve if you are asking. So celebrate the failure. It's really important. This is really cha changing the culture of the company because you are allowed to fail. <laughs> you are allowed to fail. You can fail now, yes. So we smile to success and we celebrate failures. It's important. Going forward, uh, the retrospective. During the retrospective, yes, retrospective are, are very good. And you have to do that at, 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 at every end of every spring. You must do that. Okay, it's important. The, the things we found and discovered is what we call the letter of the interdependence, and which is much more related with the mutualism I was telling before. I suppose in a retrospective, uh, I'm telling the story that I'm not good in public speaking. One of my colleagues is listening and say, oh, Francesco, I can help you. And, okay, how? I will show you in three months your good public speaker. Hard, ah, wonderful. To, to us, to commit on this, the colleagues is writing an email. An email is uh, 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 sufficient. Is writing an email, but it's going to say, okay, Francesco, I'm going to help you in uh, becoming master of public speaking in the, in the three uh, months, and I'm going to do this, 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 this for you. This is mutualism, expressed. This is talent development, expressed. This is HR, expressed. In the fact, we are, we are not supporting uh, doing well, we are making well. And this culture is going every time inside the mindset of, of my colleagues. When we hire someone, uh, they, my, my, my colleagues uh, ask me to do the, the first, the, the, the initiation process, you know? Init.0. No, it, init.0, it's, it's the init one. No. And the, the things I'm doing, I, I, I'm telling is, um, I have a, a, question, a question to you. Are you an adult outside the company? Are you an adult? Are you buying a house, planning your life, um, marrying someone, and whatever? Uh, yes. Okay, you're still an adult here. So just crossing the door is not making you a teenager. So you're not a teenager here, you're an adult here. And please, be an adult. Take your responsibility. You have the money. We don't have budget in the company because we every, every month, two times a month, we share with the colleagues uh, the profit and loss of the whole company plus the profit and loss of every, pro of every product, which is transparency. You have the power to do everything you want with the money with the same principle you, it, it, that you apply outside the company. So you are a CEO at the end of the company. Okay, quite scary. <laughs> okay, but it's 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 interesting, hmm? and and this is the the way we work with uh, with our with our colleagues in a in a in a on learning and creating what I call a living organization. We are in a living organization. We are in a, we are in an organism, which is what we want in agile. In agile, we want to enable the continuous feedback loop because we want the product will be alive. If you think about the company as the product, it should be alive too. And so you have to change your, your, your company rules, you have to change everything. Of course, in a, in a let me say, democratic way. I don't, I don't trust very much democracy. But I, I, again, go, I go talking about the customer. Do you remember the sun before? where we, we, we had the customer side after the Y, and this, the, 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 slice, the slice of the sun was interdependent. What, is, what does mean interdependent? Interdependent means that I and you are dependent to something else, in, in both. And, and now I, I tell you a story, which is, to me, it's interesting. 
When, you, uh, when, when you're discussing for the price of a product or a service, you fight with the procurement, right? We, we, we work with the procurement in, 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 here in the, in the room. You work with the procurement. And when you go to the procurement, there are two prices. There, there, and your, right? So you, you go with the price, and they try to lower the price because they have an MBO associated with the price. MBO is another story in, in, in our company. It's, it's another day. Uh, what we have, of course, you're struggling. When talking with the procurement, you're struggling. And the things I'm, I'm, I was thinking, and we were thinking, was, OK, I, I, I do, I'm using the company as a tool to change the world. And I want to, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm not here to do, to rob. I'm here to help. I'm here to do something with you that can help the world. This is why I use a user-centered approach, an inclusive thinking mechanism, and whatever. So I'm not here to become the richest person of the cemetery, OK? Which most executive and most shareholder are not realizing that in the future, they will become the most, the richest pe people in the cemetery, OK? And, and so we say, OK, my idea is this. My target, target is this, because it's the value I give, I give it to the project. And Mr. Customer, you, you have to trust me. That's, that's my value. And of course, because it's a relationship, and we w w would like to be interdependent, I have to think that you are right, too. So there are two points of view of the same thing, which is expressing money. So I have two levels of money, 180, 20 is the difference. So think, thinking in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a new, with a new approach, you can say, OK, since I trust you and you trust me, can we move for a moment this thought, these, these things on thinking how together we can do something towards our why? So, so change the planet, change whatever, and do whatever. And they say yes. No, usually, I, I work with banks, usually banks and others, and they say yes <laughs> because they have the discount. So they, they reach the goal. So they, they say, okay, you're right. So let, 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 let me talk about this. So we start crafting uh, uh, what I call, an, uh, I call an interdependent clause inside the agreement, a formal agreement made by lawyer, where we say, okay, we want to. For example, this is a real case with the bank. We want to, uh, you, you bank, to commit on the saving trees. We have a different money. We want you to, to commit with us on saving trees. And uh, we want, uh, of course, for you, it's free. And we, we would like only to suggest you, it's, you know, the Italian way, I suggest you, okay, to do a, 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 a screen before printing that where you say, oh, are you willing to print and cut 0.8 trees? Or what, do you want to save them and send a PDF to your email box? And the only thing we want to do is to know that a user has created positive impact and created negative impact. Done. In the agreement we say and we sign, and this is because we are moved with the, with the why in mind, in the agreement we say, if you provide this information, it is, it's not good for us to have all yes or no, but it's good that you're creating consciousness with, all, with, the, with, with your customer, with your user, because we are inclusive with the planet in, this, in the case. We want to, to uh, notify this to our API endpoint on our platform that is called Spluga, Spluga.io, Spluga is a pass on the Alps, a very good pass between Italy and Swiss. We made this Spluga with a, a beautiful company in Portugal, which is called uh, Number Believes, and the product uh, is based, based on Omnia. And uh, we are going to matter the, 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 to matter the impact we are creating because we want to matter everything. I'm quite freak on mattering. Okay? And the, the good thing is, if they remove the service, if they remove that page, which is half day of work to create that page, so it's very, very cheap. It's not 20. We are going to ask 20 because we are going to, in Brazil, and rewild something. 
interesting. And uh, I'm moving from procurement to legal. Procurement say yes, because I had the discount. Legal say yes, there's nothing illi not illegal here. And the, the good thing is that with the customer, we, uh, we, we changed the, 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 the agreement, and uh, we changed the agreement in the case of, to save the planet. Yeah, it's a small action, you know, but if they, they, they are selling to, to customers, you are creating a big, lo a big lobby of people discussing about saving trees. You are creating consciousness. Wow, that's powerful. And the, the, this is the way with software we are really creating. Post it, it's it's a, just only a sample, like an appetizer. So it's 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 really interesting to see that now we are completing a, a journey. We are in a journey. It's like having a river that is following from the valley. And uh, I want to give these are two suggestions I'm, I'm giving on two practices we are doing, and. And now I want to, in these 10 minutes that are missing, I want to show you what are we doing inside the company, which is, the, you, know, like, you know, like the bees? Ah, we have bees. We have 20 beehives in the company, 23, I, th I think. And because we are committed to the company, and we are committed to the land, we have a policy inside the company that says that every 20 employee, I call this inclusion policy. It's not in the dependency, it's inclusion. <laughs> Inside the company, we call it inclusion. Yes, I'm, I'm, not, I'm mad. The good thing is, every, every 20 employee, we are hiring a farmer. And what is going to do the farmer is taking care of the land uh, with organic uh, approach, biodynamic approach. We have beehive. And what are we doing with the, with the things we are growing? We are serving our colleagues every week with a bag full of vegetables, wine, oil, and all the things we make. Interesting. And, and again, what, which is the side effect of having farmers inside the company? The side effect is, you know, some people, some, some companies are doing team building just only to bring people together. No, we are not doing team building. I never paid money for a team, for a team building session. But we have a Slack channel for the farmers that say, OK, I have, I have to harvest the potato tomorrow. Can you help us harvesting the potato? And, and since the, 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 the friends, and the, the mates in the company are self-organizing, self-managing, they say, OK, I post the customers and I go, I go harvesting the potato. And I broke my back. <laughs> okay? Other things, of course, every, we are training de facto on being servant leader. Servant leadership is important. You have to be servant to your colleagues, to your peer, instead of uh, try to uh, give uh, uh, command. Right? So you, you must be servant. You must help this, this person. Again, we do company meditation. Every Friday, at, from 9 to 10, we have a room, which is a quiet room, which is a well, we, we do meditation, and uh, it's interesting because we open also, uh, we are distributed, and we also, we open a, a, a WebEx, <laughs> and we do meditation over a WebEx, so everyone can join. Um, so, uh, another, another thing we do, you, you know what is on Reddit, ask me any, Ema, ask me anything, we do that. We do that, we have a channel on Slack, for example, and these are just, just only picks from our practices. Uh, we, we have a channel, and ask me anything, and who is uh, telling, who is speaking, is on WebEx again and talking. Okay, I ran uh, two hours WebEx last, last week, and it was very nice. And, and this week I missed because I'm here. It's on Wednesday. And, and uh, we have a girl, uh, Alessia, Alessia uh, is a philosopher, and uh, she is running meeting of philosophy, talking about philosophy, because we want to. We are thinking the wholeness of people, as I explained before, taking care of the female side of everyone, of the deeper side of everyone. So we have Alexia, Alessia, which is working three days a week with us, and uh, taking care about the art, the culture, and all the things. It's not front, uh, frontal lecture, but really it's, a, it's a, a, new, a new approach 
on uh, taking care of yourself inside the company. Using the company as a, as a tool to grow, to learn, to act. In our company, you can do everything you want, from where you want, and whenever you want. Wow, too much freedom. <laughs> we have, a, we have a, an handbook. I, of course, working in a company like this, it's quite difficult. Because for the first day, you come in a company and you don't know where to take your um, laptop or join, which team you can join or whatever. So we, we have written an handbook. You can fork it, it's on GitHub. And we have forks <laughs> on our network. And we have also a, a checksum on the handbook. And the, the, the last few sentences say, of, the, of the handbook, which is quite long, says, at the first day, bring your mug. You know, like Sheldon Cooper coming in the company with a mug and uh, watching around. If, if you're co coming with a mug, nobody is taking care of you because you know everything. If you don't have a mug, all the rest of the company is taking care of you. And, and, and talking about the handbook. I'm quite finished. We matter everything. We matter happiness. For example, we have a survey every, every week where we matter everything. You know, I'm a freak. Um, we use a platform called Office Vibe, which is not mine, so I'm, I'm not promoting it. But it's really, really easy, useful when mattering things, uh, seeing the trends. See, seeing if the happiness after holidays is, is going up, uh, up and down. So now we are working uh, with a philosopher and a few others on creating a radio, a company radio, where we can broadcast to all the, the, the employees of the company and also to customers what is going to happen inside the company. With uh, at 10, there's a program called Inspiring News. <laughs> well, so th this is just in brief what we do, what we are doing. And uh, the picture, that the message I'm, I'm, I want to give to you is that um, we are, with, uh, with our action, we are always taking care of the world. We are always uh, drawing a picture. It's like having a picture with two mountains and a river. Having, it, 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 this is done by the action we do. We draw something. We, we, we do positive or negative changes to the world, to the ecosystem, and to the, and to the, and to the, um, to the rest of the things. Um, if you want this picture, I can send you, of course. If you want to contact me, I give you my mobile number. That's me. I'm very good drawing. My Twitter account is Machina. I use it. And uh, I'm very happy to, for, for, this, for this opportunity to be here and talk to you, and thank you very much.